something for you in a week or so. It's just that we only went to Cabrini today. Ah. Cabrini Green. Candyman country. Well, if you're after the hook man, Helen, you really must read the paper I wrote about him ten years ago. I mean, you do know the story, don't you? No. <laughs> then how are you going to bury me? The legend first appeared in 1890. Candyman was the son of a slave. His father had amassed a considerable fortune from designing a device for the mass producing of shoes after the Civil War. Candyman had been sent to all the best schools and had grown up in polite society. He had a prodigious talent as an artist and was much sought after when it came to the documenting of one's wealth and position in society in a portrait. Well, it was in this latter capacity that he was commissioned by a wealthy landowner to capture his daughter's virginal beauty. Well, of course, they fell deeply in love and she became pregnant. Hm. Poor Candyman. father executed a terrible revenge. He paid a pack of brutal hooligans to do the deed. They chased Candyman through the town to Cabrini Green, where they proceeded to saw off his right hand with a rusty blade. And no one came to his aid. But this was just the beginning of his ordeal. Nearby, there was an apiary, dozens of hives filled with hungry bees. They smashed the hives and stole the honeycomb and smeared it over his prone, naked body. Candyman was stung to death by the bees. They burned his body on a giant pyre and then scattered his ashes over Cabrini Green. Thank <laughs> you. 